Hello Math Champions, today we are going to learn about addition within 100. So let's do our first example, 25 plus 2 equals 2. So we have to find the answer to this question and how do we do that? I have here with me a number line and I'll show you how to use it. We are going to use the jump strategy to solve this problem. Okay, so our first step is to copy down this number. This number is 25. So 25 here in the box and this will be our start line. We are going to do jumping, all right, because this is called the jump technique. Okay, so we're going to jump twice. So let's jump from the start, jump one time and you get 26 because one more than 25 is 26, right? So that's one jump. Now let's make a second jump, two jumps, okay? So what do you get? 27, okay? So one jump, two jump, 25, 26, 27. So the answer using this technique is 27. Let's have another example. All right, second example here, 33 plus five. So I am going to write the number here, 33, and this is our start line, right? How many times do we have to jump this time? It is five times, right? So let's start, ready? One, two, three, four, and finally five. So I've just jumped five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's count. 33, what's next? 34, right? One more. Next one, 35, 36, 37, and 38. So the answer here is 38. Okay, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. Alright, hopefully that was simple enough for you. Let's do another example. This time, we're going to take 20 plus 20. And what is the answer? We're going to use the jump technique again. Copy down 20 into the start box. And we're going to start from here. This time, we're going to jump 20 times. Or are we? Are we really going to jump 20 times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No. We are actually going to use a shortcut and it's called counting in tens. You remember that, right? Remember how to count in tens? Don't worry. Just in case you forgot how to do that, take out your number chart and follow me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That is how you count in tens, okay? So you see 20 over here, right? All right, 20, okay? So let's jump two times, okay? Let me show you how. One time, and then we get 30, 20, 30. Let's jump another time, jump, and this time we get 40. What are we doing here? We are jumping in tens. 20, 30, 40. I'll show you here on the number chart. 20, 30, 40. That's exactly what's happening. So the answer here is 40. And how did I get that? I started from 20, I jumped twice in tens, and I get 40. 40 is my answer. Okay, don't worry, let's do another example. Now we have 26 plus 30. Okay, how do we do this? Same thing, 26, we'll copy it into the box. And remember our start line? Are we going to jump 30 times? Of course not, okay? We are going to jump in tens, okay? And how many tens is 30? 10, 20, 30, right? One, two, three. Three tens to make 30, which means we are going to jump three times. Start from here, one jump, two jump, three jumps. Okay, and we are done. Let's fill in the numbers. From 26, 10 more gives me 36. 10 more gives me 46. And then 10 more gives me 56. So the answer is 56. And then you might ask me, why is the front number always changing, but the back number doesn't. 
okay? Because we are jumping in tens, right? So only the tens place changes, right? Can you see that? Only the tens place changes. The ones place remains the same. It's the same number, okay? How do I illustrate this? We use the number chart. Look here, look here, all right? So 26, right? Let's find 26 on the number chart. Let's have 10 more. What's 10 more? 36. What's 10 more? 46. What's 10 more? 56. See that now? 26, jump three times. One, two, three. We get 56. Same thing, okay? Next question, 17 plus 40. Write 17 over here. And we don't jump 40 times, but how many tens is in 40? 10, 20, 30, 40. Remember, count in tens. So there are four tens in 40. How, so how many times do we jump? Four times, right? So let's jump four times. One, two, three, four. All right, we have done it. So let's write in the numbers, okay? So 17, 10 more. So what is 10 more? 27, right? Only the tens place changes. So what's 10 more? 37. 10 more? 47. And what is 10 more? 57. So the answer is 57. So using the number chart technique, okay, let's find where 17 is. Where are you? You are here. So 17, okay, we are going to jump four times upwards okay because it's 10 more so 10 uh, so 1 2 3 4 and we get the same answer 57 57 okay okay we have arrived at our difficult question 12 plus 23 so first step 12 right in the box and that's our start line so how do we add 23 you look at that number and then you ask me, do I jump in tens or do I jump in ones? The answer is both. And why? Because 23 is made up of two tens and three ones, right? So we're going to make two big jumps and three small jumps. How does that look like? Let's start, okay? Two big jumps first. One, two, two big jumps, okay? That is counting in tens, okay? So, and three small jumps. One, two, three, okay? So, how do we fill in the numbers? So, from 12, we're going to count in tens. So, 12, 22, 32, okay? That's counting in tens. Do we count in tens anymore here? No, we are counting in ones. So, one more. What's one more? 33. What's one more? 34. What's one more? 35. That's it. And so 12 plus 23 will give you 35. Okay, the answer is over here. Okay? Okay, last example. 34 plus 32. So I'm going to copy down 34 here. And so, how do we jump with 32? 32 is made out of 3 tens, 10, 20, 30, and 2 ones, right? 30, 31, 32. So we are going to make 3 big jumps and 2 small jumps, okay? Let's do that now. 3 big jumps, 1, 2, 3, okay? That's counting in tens. Now, 2 small jumps. One, two, okay? So remember, we are counting in tens here, and down here, we are counting in ones, okay? So let's do that. So from 34, what's 10 more? 44, right? 10 more, 54, 10 more, 64. Okay, what's one more from 64? 65, and then 66. So this 66, is the answer. Okay, we have come to the end of the video. See you again in the next one.